I'm curious. Seven of the 15 candidates were mentioned, and the error term would seem to not include the other 15 candidates. Um, if we included the other 15 candidates, how would that change the error term? But my point is that if the talk is between those seven, but you've got others like, for example, well, Peter Liu or uh, Ken Houston or you know Nancy Seibotham and so on and so on. How much does that actually skew what we've seen here? Well, I don't know. Uh, it's a good, it's a good question, uh, honest question. Um, we haven't seen them gaining traction, um, and we do know that there's some uh, other polling that's going to be done by some of our uh, colleagues uh, in the next two weeks, and I hear that one of them may include all 15. So maybe we'll know the answer to that now. That then, uh, we thought we had a good feeling and handle on who were the top contenders. And one of the other things that we were concerned about, it's like when they do the candidate forums. They have 15 candidates. they got to give each one a minute to say what they're going to do to improve the city. What can we say in a minute? Mm -hmm. We're concerned that if we overloaded our poll with too many individual candidates, we would never be able to get to the right direction, wrong direction issues, the city council issues, etc. So we, we made that decision to do that. Uh, there may be other polls come out that focus just on the mayor's race and don't have everything else that we have, so they might be able to do that in a time frame. 